Well, welcome to Maine. Today, here we are at Max Dana's camp, hiding from a couple game wardens who don't find practical jokes involving live black bears too funny. Yeah. Going up to camp is part of being a Mainer. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. Huh. It's good to have a place you can hide away from old ex-wives and bill collectors and kids that may or may not be yours. Mark. Yeah. Heading up to camp is like a Friday the 13th movie. If everyone lived and only your old lady got stabbed. Oh, yeah. Flatlanders will call them vacation homes, lake houses, cottages, and cabins. But here in Maine, they're called camps. Camp just sounds better. Shot and gut a deer at my lake house just don't have the same ring to it. Yeah. Technically, a camp by definition is a tent. A pop-up or a permanent tent-like structure with no indoor heat or plumbing. Mark's been living that camp life for a while. He forgot to pay his bills and has been living with no heat or plumbing for the last few months. Yeah. Maine leads the nation for the percentages of vacation homes, earning its nickname Vacation Land, <laughs> which is much better than the nickname Mac earned on his last vacation, Naked Outhouse Guy. Yeah. In Maine, 15.6% of all housing is for seasonal use. And if you need any more proof in that, go out drinking in Old Orchard Beach during a snowstorm in January. Yeah. Generally in Maine, camps are inland and cottages are coastal. <laughs> Which just goes to show you that the people here in Maine own camps and the peckerheads from Massachusetts own cottages. Oh, yeah. Many famous celebrities have camps up here in Maine, including John Travolta and Martha Stewart and Chris O'Donnell from Mark's favorite and least favorite Batman movies. You never know who you're gonna run into. Friggin' Mark met Judd Nelson in the old port. Wouldn't give him an autograph, but would sign the protection order against old Mark later that day. No one up here is going to rob you at gunpoint. <laughs> Not when they can take it from you legally at the camp store. Jeez, um, grow! <laughs> Great places if you want to spend 20 bucks on a six pack and eight bucks on a bag of chips. Yeah. Only place you may need to mortgage your house to buy groceries. Yeah. Where do they come up with these prices? Last time a bottle of water cost that much, they started a friggin' riot at Woodstock 99. Yeah. Everything you need to bring to camp is in the name. Cannabis, alcohol, munchies, pants. You wouldn't believe how many pairs of pants Mike goes through after a night that he's been drinking out at camp. Yeah. Camp's a great place to let it all out. The neighbors don't care how much we party or how many fireworks we shoot off. But mostly because they're afraid we'll threaten them with untold amounts of violence again. So this has been Troy and Mike with Welton to Maine signing off. Hey Mike, you got a mosquito. Oh, don't forget your bug spray.
There are a few things better than sitting around a campfire having a drink or two. While your friend hallucinates on magic mushrooms he found growing on a spotty septic field behind the woodpile. Yeah.